Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about some new stuff, some major breaking news for the crossover and it's mainly to do with some Smallville stuff. Also we got some titles for episodes of The Flash and also some titles for episodes of Supergirl. We'll be talking about that and a lot more in this video. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so without further ado, let's get on to talking about today's main topic. So the first thing is, and this came out a few days ago, but I was at uni and I actually didn't have time to bring my laptop. So now I've got my laptop back, we're making this video and so, they announced that Tom Welling is going to be in Crisis on Infinite Earths. So, some of you might be like, who's Tom Welling? But some of you definitely know, like most of you definitely know who he is. But he played Superman and Clark Kent on Smallville. So, Smallville was the show that sort of, you know, predates Arrow and sort of led towards that. But, you know, it's very separate. It's not the same. And we've had references to it, especially in the Elseworlds crossover last year. But we've never like had a official crossover or confirmation so it seems like he's coming back and it's going to be him as his smallville version of himself as clark kent obviously older and potentially from a different earth which is just crazy because you know the idea of them bringing back you know the 90s flash with jay garrick last year obviously not jay garrick but John Wesley Shipp, you know, playing his doppelganger who is Barry Allen from the 90s TV show Flash. And now they are bringing back Brandon Ralph as Superman from the film in the early 2000s. And they're bringing Smallville's version. So is all these versions canon? I know Brandon Ralph's Superman is a different Superman from the film because he's playing Kingdom Come Superman. This version is actually going to be the real Smallville version. This is the statement that Mark Guggenheim put out. So for eight years, Arrow has stood on the shoulders of Smallville, Mark Guggenheim said in a statement. Simply put, there would be no Arrow and no Arrowverse without it. So when we first started talking about Crisis on Infinite Earths, our first, second and third priorities were getting Tom to reprise his iconic role as Clark Kent. To say that we're thrilled would be a Superman sized understatement. So essentially what Mark's getting at is what I essentially said, you know, Arrow is built on, you know, the grounds of what Smallville brought to the CW because it was on the CW and so they feel like, you know, they owe the show and there's been a lot of talk of Tom coming to Arrow maybe, so it seems like he's coming for the crossover, so most likely he's going to recur in multiple episodes or he might just have a small cameo role and he might actually die because I don't think Supergirl's going to die. If you've read the comic book, you know that in Crisis, Supergirl dies. I think instead there's going to be multiple Supermen who are going to die. So I think maybe Brandon Ralph and his version might die. However, due to the fact that it's very nostalgic and it's going to be that Smallville version of his character, I'm not so sure that he will die compared to like Brandon Ralph's. But let me know if you guys are hyped for his return. I've personally never seen Smallville but he's supposed to be really good and I'm very excited with this announcement because you know I get to see a character that really I've only seen snippets of in like clips of Smallville so very much so looking forward to that. Another piece of really interesting news is Erica Durant who was actually on Supergirl, she played Allura, we'll talk about that in a sec, is going to be in the crossover in Crisis on Infinite Earths and she's going to be joining Tom Welling and TV Line has learned that Durant is on board to reprise the role as Lois Lane guest starring in multiple episodes of the five part event as mentioned in a announcement earlier this week Tom Welling will play Clark Kent in the crossover and we will see the reunion of these two characters and so this is crazy because Erica Durant, if you remember, in season 3 of Supergirl, she is Kara's mum. She plays Kara's mum. She is the recasted version of Allura zor -El. So, I'm guessing there is a version, how they're going to explain it is, because they're not going to just be like, oh, Kara, look, it's Lois Lane. Definitely doesn't look like your mum. No, I think they're going to do the Jay Garrick thing and make it a doppelganger of Allura zor -El. And they'll make it be, you know, 
just a doppelganger essentially so it's not Alora, but it is Lois Lane so she's gonna be coming and she's gonna be in it and she's going to be reuniting with her Smallville co-star Tom Welling so she'll be playing Lois Lane we also have Elizabeth Tullock playing Lo Lois Lane who first appeared in the Elseworlds crossover last year and we got all these different versions of Superman you know it's actually really crazy I cannot wait to see more of this you know especially I think they're shooting very soon on the crossover okay so moving on from the casting news we've got the official titles of three episodes from The Flash and three episodes from Supergirl. We found out the prior episodes for The Flash and Supergirl before episode five. So this is how it goes. Episode five, the new title that has been released from season six of The Flash is Kiss Kiss Breach Breach, which is an obvious reference to Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. So Kiss Kiss Breach Breach, obviously to do with Cisco and maybe he gets his powers back. We've seen in behind the scenes photos that he's got the vibe suit on at various points, so I'm very curious about this. I think this might be when Danny Trejo returns as Breacher, because he has been confirmed to actually return this season, although I wasn't a fan of his character, you know, we'll have to wait and see how good he is this season. However, moving on to the next episode, moving on to episode 6, this is an obvious reference to James Bond because it's licensed to elongate is the episode 6 title of season 6. We've talked about that, so we'll move on. Episode 7 of Season 6 is The Last Temptation of Barry Allen. And what's Episode 8? is going to be The Last Temptation of Barry Allen Part 2. So, we've got a two-part episode, which is really great. This is just before Crisis. So, this is going to be, obviously, stopping Bloodwork, the main villain, who is going to be stopped by then. And I love the reference. The Last Temptation of Barry Allen is a reference to The Last Temptation of Christ. So perhaps Barry's like this Christ-like figure and, you know, he's going to have to defy the odds essentially and not be, you know, killed like he's supposed to be in Crisis. So this is a two-part episode. Very exciting because we haven't had a two-part episode in a long time. It's going to be leading up to Crisis and what happens there. So I definitely think there is going to be some, you know, foreshadowing for Crisis and I really love this title. This is one of the best titles they've done in a very long while. Okay, so moving on. Supergirl, we've got some new titles. And so the official titles and new ones are episode 5. We have Dangerous Liaisons, which is a very nice title. I don't know what it specifically is in reference to, but something dangerous is happening, as you can tell. And something to do with liaisoning, so you know borrowing and sort of going to another side essentially like if you've seen like NCIS this is the best reference like they say oh this guy's on you know a liaison from the LAPD to NCIS you know anyway that's my reference episode 6 of season 5 of Supergirl is called Confidence Women so I don't think this grammatically actually makes sense Confidence Women I don't know but the title is obviously in reference to, you know, the female characters of the show. I think this is going to be a heavily female episode. Not so sure about the title because it doesn't seem to make grammatical sense. Make sure if, make sure to correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but confidence women? Don't know if that makes sense. Alright, episode 7 of season 5 of Supergirl is officially titled Tremors. So this is in reference to, you know, earthquake tremors, I do believe, or it could be a psychological thing, like with inside a character, so maybe there's a tremor. Or it could be a physical thing, and maybe it's not an earthquake, but it's a tremor by the villain, you know, maybe causing this disturbance in, you know, society, or it could be a literal tremor with them using their powers in some way or another. And the main villain, I believe, for the first part of the season is actually John Jones's brother. So he has the ability, I would reckon, to make some sort of tremor. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe, turn on notifications as we try and reach 100,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for the support, and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy room.